If you're trying to lose weight, you may try to diet, exercise regularly, you know, go to bed on time, sleep eight hours a day. But if you're real cool, maybe you'd move to Mercury. Whoa, 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 what? Yes, that's right. You weigh less on some planets than others. But why is that? Are these planets just made for us to be healthy on? Does everyone just eat carrots there and sleep on the treadmill all day? All right, so you probably know that you can't just lose weight by going to another planet. But if you were to go to another planet, what if I measured your weight there? Would it be less? The key to realize is that these are two different types of weight we're talking about. Our everyday weight, that stuff we just want to get rid of and flush down the toilet, that's our mass, our volume times density. But this other weight, it's kind of different. It's the amount of pull a body has on you. More on that later. Well, what's causing this difference in weight on different planets, you ask? Well, that's a great question. It's actually something you should have probably learned in your science class, and you probably know quite a bit about it. Uh, I'll give you a hint. Starts with a G, ends with a gravity. <laughs> I definitely learned gravity. I know what gravity is. You don't need to teach me what gravity is. I know gravity. <laughs> I know gravity, right? Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about, buddy. All right, well, we often think of gravity as a downwards force, the force that acts downwards. I mean, I'll give it to you downwards gravity people. The force of gravity is often pointing downwards, but the proper way to think about it, to think about gravity, is using the key word of attraction. The force of gravity is the force of attraction between two bodies. That apple that fell, that fell from the tree, that fell because it was attracted to the center of mass of Earth. The tomato soup that spilled from your hands and went on your foot and burnt you. It was also attracted to the center of mass of the Earth. And the cool thing about gravity is that it's a force that acts not with direct contact, but over a distance. So there's also a fancy math way of determining the force of gravity, and it was derived by some guy you've probably never heard of named Isaac Newton. Never heard of that guy. Well, so what he discovered is that the force of attraction between two objects is directly proportional to the product of the masses of those objects and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their center of masses. All right, so you got the math and everything. Now, how can you really weigh different on different planets? Well, it really comes down to that definition of weight, the amount of pull a body has on you. Hey, well, that sounds a lot awfully similar to a force of attraction between two bodies. And where have I heard that before? Oh, that sounds like the force of gravity. So is weight gravity? Well, on humans, animals, mammals, reptiles, dinosaurs, nouns, yes. So when you're on a planet, the mass of that planet pulls down on you. It's the attraction between you and the mass of that planet that makes the gravity. So here is a very accurate drawing of me that I obviously spent lots of time and deserves a standing ovation. And now we have Earth. So if you measure my mass, four kilograms, and the mass of Earth, about 5.972 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, pretty close to my mass, um, and we measure the distance between my mass and the center of mass of the Earth, that's gonna be the radius of the Earth and that's gonna be 6.371 million miles. Well, we can plug that into that guy Newton's law and we will get about 40 Newtons. So that is my weight on Earth in Newtons. That's the pull that Earth has on me in Newtons. But because I'm really cool, for some reason, I just get to travel to Mercury. So here I am on Mercury. My mass, four kilograms, stays the same. Uh, wherever I go. I don't get taller, shorter, skinnier, fatter, more diagonal, horizontal, vertical, just by traveling to another planet. But the mass of the body I'm on changes. Mercury's mass is different than Earth's mass. Mercury's mass is only 3.285 times 10 to the 23rd kilograms, just 1 20th that of Earth's mass. Its radius is smaller than 2. The distance from where I stand on Mercury to the center of mass of Mercury is only 2.4397 million miles. That's just a third of the radius of Earth. Well, we plug that into our Newton's fancy schmancy equation and whoa, 
I weigh less there. All right, well, I technically didn't lose weight by just going to another planet, but it just meant that planet, in this case Mercury, was pulling less on me than Earth would. I'd feel a bit lighter, freer. Maybe I could even float a bit like I would on the moon. Well, that's the force of gravity for you. Hey y'all, thank you so much for checking out my video on the force of gravity, part of my playlist on things you might have learned in your science class. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like button down below. It goes real fast and it's a real great way to support the channel. If you want to see more of my videos in the future, and I will be making a lot more in the next few months, please click that subscribe button. It also really helps out a lot. You're the best.